all you need is a couch. Hi friends, how are you? Angelica Ventrice here, and today I am bringing you a full body workout at home, and literally all you need is a couch. So I know it's the holidays and you're probably traveling or you're busy just preparing stuff, so I wanted to give you something quick, easy, and efficient that you could do really in the convenience of your own living room. So there's gonna be 10 movements, you're going to do them for 45 seconds, you're gonna rest 15, and then you're going to repeat the circuit three times. If you got more time, do the circuit four times. So let me go ahead and demonstrate the movements. And you're gonna to wanna to just take note of my form. I'll be cueing you guys as well so you can follow along. So first movement's going to be a Bulgarian, okay? So Bulgarian split squat, I'm gonna work the quad, and gonna work the booty. Keep those abs tight. I like to put my hands right on my hips. Make sure your hips are square forward, all right? Drive that back knee down. Knee is in alignment with the ankle and come up. So you're gonna do 45 seconds on that right leg. And you really wanna squeeze that back glute here when you come up. Once the 45 seconds is done, you go ahead and switch sides there. Ooh, make, sure, <laughs> make sure you find a good spot on your couch. This movement also works on balance. It's important to keep those abs super tight. Literally, all you need is a couch, right? No excuses. A lot of people are getting lazy this time of year. That's not you, right, mama? So you go ahead, you got the right leg, you got the left leg. Now we're gonna do a jump squat. Caveat here, you're gonna tap your booty on the couch, right? That's just gonna get you to activate the glutes a little more. Come up and jump. Now, if this is getting to be too much for you, as you're doing these jumps, you can just come up and squat. Tap the booty. Squat. You could always add a band above your knees as well. Next movement, dips. Love to get those triceps, right, mama? So back here. Now, I'm gonna do straight legs. You could also bend your knees to make it easier. 45 seconds is definitely a long time for dips. Make sure your back is straight, so make sure you're not arched like this. Straight back, ab set. See, I'm sweating already. We're here in Hawaii though, not gonna lie, it's, pre it's pretty warm. So after 45 seconds of this movement, we're gonna move into an elevated side plank. So go ahead and rest your elbow and your forearm on the couch. Now if you need to modify, back leg can stay bent like this, you'll bring your hips up. More advanced here, hold your arm up, dip it down, pop it up, just little baby dips. Get those obliques. Also works your booty, squeeze that booty tight, lower back, so we're getting a lot of things here. Shoulders are working. 45 seconds this side. And then you'll go ahead and switch sides. You just kind of roll over like so. We're here. Once you complete that side, we're gonna get a little more core here. So you're gonna sit, you're gonna lean back slightly. Make sure you're not hunching over, sit up straight. Palms go behind you and you're just gonna flutter those legs. You can switch to scissors. You can do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Whew. Now if your hips are tight, you're gonna feel this a little bit. Most important is concentrate on those low abs, okay? Love this movement. Just make sure that you're not feeling any strain on your low back. After that, come up. You rest your 15 seconds. Seal jumping jacks. Palms start here. You jump out and then in, out and then in. I love this movement because it looks like nothing, but it actually works your inner thighs, outer booty. You're working your arms and your chest as well. So you got 45 seconds of these. Perfect. Moving into push-ups. We're gonna go wide stance to really get those chest muscles, okay? Now you're inclined up, it's gonna be a little bit easier. Lower abs are tight. Booty is nice and tight. Drop that chest down. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your abdominals. Perfect. This one's a hard one. Decline mountain climbers. So if this is too much, just do regular slow mountain climbers on the mat. I'm gonna show you the decline because we're using the couch. The so palms go down, you're here. Shoulders are stacked over wrists, and then you drive it in. I actually want you to go slow so you feel the pull in those low abs. Once you 
once again, if you needed to modify, you would just go down to your mat, do a regular mountain climber, which would look like this. But we want slow. Okay, last two movements of the circuit, guys. Get in that booty a little bit more. Ele feet elevated hip thrust. So up here, perfect. So your feet are up. Put your hands down here. You can always add a resistance band to make it harder. Just keeping it simple today. Booty goes up and then down, up and then down. You have 45 seconds here, okay? So butt's gonna be burning. After your 45 seconds here, you're switching to single-legged hip thrusts. Woo, yeah. All right, so that's 45 seconds right side. I know you hate me. Woo. And then you go 45 seconds. Left leg up. And you should be feeling this like a mofo. And that is it. So you are done with your workout, which you should be definitely out of breath. You're gonna to wanna to repeat this, like I said, two to three more times. I hope you guys enjoyed the workout. Please drop me a comment and let me know if you tried it, if you liked it, how did you feel? And if there's any suggestions or anything you have that you want me to cover on my YouTube channel, please leave it for me. I'll talk to you guys soon. Happy holidays.